Your life is safe. Listen. Cardiff then was a sort of um, centre of animation, independent animation, only because uh, the Welsh television channel, S4C, were putting money into animation production. And they put money into Joanna's first film to complete it. That was Girls' Night Out. And that did so well that they then said, we want to commission another film from you. So at that point, I think Joanna decided mm. to, it was easier to live in Wales and produce films. The company just grew organically from the making of a film. So we sort of set up a bank account, you know, for the film. And then it, then we got a little bit of help and so brought mm. more people in. Since we started out, which is about 25 years ago, it's the, I mean, it's just not the same in terms of commissions and production money. There isn't any, basically, <laughs> which is why we fund our own films from the commercials. Right. I mean, the the significance of Channel 4 is like, you know, it's an, it was an incredible time. Channel 4 funded just about every independent animated film ever made in Britain. And now, you know, you're on your own, basically, when you come out of college. Mm. You, you, you've got nothing, really. No. You, you have to find money on your own. At the time, it felt that a lot of the animation production that was being done in London was more to do with pop videos, title sequences, things like that. But um, a lot of the stuff that was being done in Cardiff was a bit more experimental. So the kind of word got out, you know, that, oh, Cardiff, you know, there's money there, there's animation there. And it became a bit of a centre for, for animation. Yeah. A lot of people were here and that was great. Awards and things like that really help because then people, Absolutely. you know, say, oh, what's that film, what's that film? You know, they're interested. And that's why it's so important to you know, finish a film and mm. enter it for film festivals and awards. Either reps or the people who run the companies are out looking for talent and they exploit it, you know, and in the, in the process, the people who are making the films make money as well. So, you know, if you can strike a balance between really good commercial work and what you do yourself personally, then you've got it really.